This is The Lockpicking Lawyer, and what I have for you today is another Iwata & Co padlock that was sent to me by Jamie in Japan. The previous Iwata lock I featured in video 1291 I knew to be a railroad lock. This one, however, I know almost nothing about, and my inability to research in Japanese makes finding out more difficult without help. But given my limited knowledge of the company, what it's made in the past, and the reasons for certain lock features, I can make some educated guesses. So I think it might be interesting to walk you through my thought process. I suspect this lock, or at least its mold, was made in the 21 years between 1947, when the company changed its name to Iwata & Co, and 1968, when its headquarters moved from Tokyo to Nagoya. It was probably toward the latter part of that time period, given the higher patent number as compared to this lock with similar markings. I know Iwata made a fair number of railway locks, so we can start with that assumption and see if other signs are consistent. This newer lock has a strange warded mechanism that's considerably less secure than its older brother. Now, it would be unusual in my experience for a railroad to use a less secure lock as a cost-cutting measure. So let's assume they had a reason for using this. The one way in which this warded mechanism is superior to its pin tumbler brother is weather resistance. This lock will still operate after being subjected to a level of dirt and water or ice ingress that would seize a pin tumbler mechanism. Also note the absurdly strong steel keys that would be needed to operate a lock that's jammed with dirt. Interestingly, there's a non-essential mechanism in this lock that secures the key inside until it's relocked. The fact that the complication and expense of key retention was added to the lock means it was used on something where it was important that the lock not accidentally be left open. Our final clue is this traditional Japanese character on the back and again on the bow of the key. My best translation is Zhuan, which means to turn, change direction, transfer, or forward. So putting all of this together, my best guess is this is an outdoor 1960s rail track switch lock, though that's obviously supposition and it's possible, if not likely, it's completely wrong. As for opening this, one of the worded picks on my covert companion will make short work of it. I sell these over on covertinstruments.com. Note there is a small button in the bottom of the keyway that you need to push down on before turning, but once you know that you need to push that button, opening this up is very easy. Let's do that one more time so you can see it was not a fluke, and once again we opened it very fast. Okay folks, that's all I have for you today. If you do have any questions or comments about this, please put them below. If you like this video and would like to see more like it, please subscribe. And as always, have a nice day. Thank you.